Hello and welcome to another percussion tutorial. We have a new series going on. I'm going to be talking about the cajon and some hybrid setups. So today what I have going on is I'm sitting on the cajon with the foot pedal to free my hands up a little bit. And then I have a tambourine on my left with the foot pedal, the bracket. And then I have a djembe on my right. So the foot pedal, I'm actually going playing backwards. It's obviously a lot easier if you just get a cajon foot pedal and there are several brands that make some great ones. Uh, I used to have a Gibraltar one. I've just gotten, however, I've gotten used to playing it backwards like this. So it just gives you an idea. If you uh, Really, I just slide it right up and it has a Velcro on the bottom, so if there's a rug, it sticks and it works for me. Might not work for you. You might just have to go ahead and get a nice cajon pedal or use a small kick drum with the cajon, or like a suitcase drum. Sometimes I do that as well. So. The, the reason for the tambourine in this video is you notice there's no cymbals in front of me. And sometimes I want that metallic brightness or shimmer like a crash cymbal or a ride. Obviously, I can't crescendo or decrescendo on the tambourine, but I can still give somewhat of a semblance of a, of a crash. And that gives me the lift for a chorus or a last chorus where the song really does lift and I need to add another level of excitement. And the tambourine does a great job of that. The floor tom is, I mean the floor tom, there you go. The djembe is actually acting or serving right now as what a floor tom would be. Now I use all different types of hybrid setups. This is just one basic way. Obviously the most basic would be just the cajon and then maybe some brushes and the shaker. But this is, close to a semi-large to a very small, somewhere in the middle. Later on, we'll add hi-hat. Sometimes I add a hi-hat and then I'll have a ride cymbal. Then I'll have a ride cymbal on my right-hand side. I just sneeze, so if it was a choppy edit, that's why. Oh, pollen season here in the Southeast. So I have the djembe, tambourine, floor, uh, foot pedal with the cajon, cajon, and then off to my right, I got some Carolina table salt. Well, my shaker, homemade shaker with some rice inside of it. And so I'm just going to go over real quick how I use this in a setup. And in future videos, I'll talk about different hybrid like drum setups and uh, use them as an accompaniment. So with an actual song to give you a practical application of how it might sound. Now, I'm often asked to be the drummer in a worship setting or worship settings where it's an acoustic set. So less guitars, perhaps not a full drum set, and then I'm the percussionist, I'm the drummer. So these are some ways that I can serve the song, the recording of the song, the original song if it had an actual drum set, but it's still different. The texture is different, the emotion, the tone is different, but I'm still able to play various parts. And it's a different way. I'm not. Uh, I don't have everything obviously in front of me, a bunch of toms and the uh, crash symbols or whatnot. But this works and it's a, it's a different way. It's a nice, refreshing way to do things. So sometimes if I have a floor, uh, four in the floor type groove, so we're just going like this. One, two, three, four. I may start off with just that and then bring in the djembe. Then the snare might come in. So I'll bring it on just to a, a basic two and four. And then after that, I add the tambourine. Maybe just on the four for right now, right? So this, you see there's different levels that I can add and it just gives kind of the resemblance of some of the parts of a drum set. Now, some of what I'm gonna do obviously takes some independence and there's exercises that you can do to, to in strengthen and increase that independence to play various parts. The most obvious and basic 
way to do that is one, just practice working with your foot, doing the same thing over and over. Repetition is key, working with the metronome. Or if it's a cha, that basic rock beat. So you wanna get really good at that before you even move on to anything else. And then because I'm always playing congas and djembe with my hand, with various te uh, polyrhythms, for me, I can play on the upbeats and various rhythms with my right hand without using too much brain power because I'm so used to it. So as you strengthen each individual part, then putting them all together will become easier. But that could be a whole nother lesson in of itself, which perhaps I will do a lesson on just exercises increasing independence. And then obviously I had the tambourine going, but then I may come off of the djembe and then use the cajon with the shaker. So, okay, so it adds just another level. Sometimes I use the shaker before I might even come in with the tambourine, maybe on the second verse or on the first chorus. Using a shaker is a really, it's, it's, it's a nice ostinato, like the hi-hat will be. It, it kind of helps drive the song. And if you put it in the right places, sometimes right up front to help keep tempo, but sometimes if you do something else, like a floor time or the cajon, and then you bring in the shaker later, it helps add another level of excitement to the song. And that's what we're doing. We're creating different levels of emotion. So, so anyways, these are just a couple ways that I, uh, things that I would do to have a, an acoustic hybrid kit type setup. I have my bass and snare. I have my cymbal like type thing, my excitement to add with my tambourine. I have my toms using my djembe. I might even in the beginning of, a, let's say if it's just a steady beat going steady uh, kick drum. A, a basic but so already that's adding some excitement there and it's kind of like playing with my floor time or it might just keep it simple just like a floor time would be, okay? You can have bongos, you can add congas, and we'll have other lesson where I'll add other stuff just to give you an idea of some of the things that I do for an acoustic set as opposed to just doing the cajon and then maybe adding some brushes. Now, the, the, the higher your level of independence and ability on the cajon grows, starting to add brushes, broomsticks, shakers, other stuff. You can do quite a bit with just a cajon, but if you free up your hands as well with a foot pedal and add these other elements, then we can now create, recreate some of the stuff that might have been on the actual recording. It's gonna sound different, it's gonna create a different emotion, but if we're doing this, that's probably what we're going for in the first place. Now, what you might have noticed me doing also was playing bass notes in between these, this steady kick pattern that I'm doing right here. So if I do this, something like this, or something crazy like that, that wasn't good. But anyways, it almost is like me adding I have more freedom because my hands are not doing everything, or one hand. Now my foot is freed up, just like if I'm playing the drum set. Using a foot pedal with the cajon allows me to, to free up, and playing in between, it just allows me to add more notes within that groove. So anyways, this is I thought this would be a nice start to just to go into some of my ideas for a hybrid setup to play for an acoustic set. If you don't have a djembe, you can just use a floor tom. 
Floor time is great. Use it with a mallet. Use it with a stick. Explore. Use it with broomsticks. Um, use it with brushes, fire sticks, whatever. Uh, it, shaker. You can make a shaker. If you run out of some seasoning at home, don't get in trouble with the wife or wives. Don't get in trouble with the husbands. But you might just empty out a seasoning thing or some go to the dollar store, get an empty little piece of Tupperware or whatever, and fill it with some rice, salt, sand, whatever. Explore with the sounds, but then you got a shaker. Right? So that tambourine on the foot pedal i'm telling you it, it it's great now in the next episode we'll add the hi-hat and the ride cymbal and then we'll go in between and just showing you how i might add that to a setup and then we will play it along with the song hopefully this gives you some ideas there's many ways to do this but uh i'm just all about helping and giving some some extra nuggets i didn't know what i was gonna say so i just said extra nuggets anyways all right guys until next time, I'll see you very soon.